Hi, I'm Justine Schofield and today with my Thermomix, I'm going to show you how to make a wholesome chicken wonton soup. This recipe is probably one of my favorite go-to midweek recipes because everything is done in my Thermomix. We make the stock, the wontons, steam the vegetables, steam the wontons, everything is done in my machine. This is fantastic for winter and it's super healthy. What I love about my Thermomix is I can be creative every single day of the week. I can make wholesome, healthy dishes without any fuss and very little mess. So let's get started on my soup. So the first thing we need to do is make the mince for the wontons. I'm gonna start with some aromats. I've got some shallots here, ginger, garlic, a little bit of shiitake and some coriander. So I need to chop this for four seconds at speed seven. The lid goes on. Okay, so now that that's chopped, we can add the meat. Now I've got 200 grams of chicken breast here that's been sliced. I love Thermomix because it minces and I actually do this with other meats too and freeze it so you've got fresh minced meat whenever you want on hand. So let's just scrape down the Thermomix bowl here. And that smells so good. You can smell the ginger, the shallots there, that coriander. You know that this is going to make a really beautiful aromatic mince. So in with our chicken. So now the lid goes on and we're going to mince this for 10 seconds at speed six. The mince is done now, so I'm going to place it into a bowl and we can start making our wonton. So I'll just clear down, get a fresh bowl and we'll bring in our wontons. And we'll just scrape down the sides, make sure you get all of that mixture out of the bowl there. We don't want to leave any. Perfect. And you can make this ahead of time if you like. Put it in some cling film and just place it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. I actually make a big batch of this sometimes and place it in the freezer so when I want to make a really quick wonton soup, it's ready to go. Now for the wonton wrappers. I've got some square wonton wrappers today. You can also use some round ones if you like. These are really easy to find. You can get them from Asian grocers. I've actually even seen them at supermarkets now. Now to ensure that they stay really nice and soft, what I do is get myself a clean damp tea towel and just cover them up as you make them. That'll ensure that they don't dry out. Now we need about one to two teaspoons of chicken mix. We're gonna place that in the center. You wanna make sure that you don't overfill it because it will burst when it's steaming later on. And just to seal the wonton wrapper, we're just going to brush it lightly with a little bit of water. You can also use a little bit of egg white here. Take the two corners and fold it over. Have this tea towel on standby just to clean your hands so they're nice and neat and then press down on the wonton to seal it up. Be quite firm with it because you wanna take out as many of those air bubbles as possible. And there you have it, that's a beautiful first wonton. Now you can leave them as is or what you can do is just twist them and then make almost like little hats. Aren't they cute? Fantastic little dumplings. Now this recipe makes around 20 to 24 little dumplings like this. Once you've finished making them, place them in your Varoma trays that have just been lightly oiled with a little bit of vegetable oil. And now I'm going to start with my broth. Now that my little dumplings are made, they're just on the tray. We can just put the lid on again so they don't dry out. We can get on to my lovely broth. So in my Thermomix, I have the basket ready to go and I'm going to add two drumsticks. Now these are going to cook really slowly for a while so the meat is going to fall off the bone. It's a fantastic addition to add to this soup. Other things that we're going to add is a touch of sugar, some ginger and a star anise. 
And we'll put that all in together along with some coriander root and some stems. There is loads of flavour in the stem of the coriander. So use this, it's going to really give a wonderful perfume to our broth. So that can go in along with some spring onions, some soy sauce for some seasoning there, and some Chinese cooking wine. It's also called some Shaoxing and the stock. Now I've got 1.5 litres of chicken stock here. If you're wanting to make your own recipe, the Thermomix basic cookbook has a recipe and it's not only for the chicken stock, you can also find the vegetable stock in there and a beef stock. So we wanted that to cover those chicken legs there. We're going to place the lid on, put it on just like a cap so it clicks in. Now we're going to set the Thermomix to cook for 45 minutes. Perfect, at 90 degrees. And we'll place it on reverse at speed one. So we'll let that simmer away, bubble away, and once that's cooked, we'll get on to the next stage. It smells amazing in here. Let's have a look at this. Be careful, this is really, really hot. So when you're opening the lid, make sure you open it away. And, oh, that is amazing. So let's take the chicken out of the liquid. Be really careful because it's really soft at this stage because it's been poaching for that 45 minutes. And I'll take out the basket, all of those spring onions, the aromats in there have done their job. They've flavoured my broth, so we don't need them anymore. And now we can start shredding our chicken. Now, I don't want any of the fat on this chicken, so we'll just remove that and remove the meat from the bone. Look at that. So I just use two forks to shred the chicken off the bone, and we're going to be using this for later. So we can put that to the side now. Now let's get on to steaming our beautiful little dumpling. So we'll place the lid back on, We'll take out the measuring cup, we'll place the dumplings into position and we're going to steam these for nine minutes so it doesn't take long at all. Make sure it's accurate. On Varoma and speed one. The thing I love about this is the multi-layer cooking. This is fantastic. You've got the broth cooking down the bottom. I'm steaming my beautiful dumplings on the top. And on top of this, I'm also going to be steaming some lovely Asian vegetables to go with it. So it's an all-in-one, no effort required. It's so simple, so delicious. So while that's cooking, it gives me enough time to finish shredding that chicken and clean down. These dumplings are almost ready, so I'm going to take them off. Again, be really careful of the steam. Just place that on a plate now and for the veggies. So I'm going to use the stalks of the bok choy. I'll put them first because they take the longest to cook. And then I've got some baby corn. I love the sweetness of baby corn. So we'll add that next. Don't overfill the dish because you do want that steam to circulate nice and evenly. Then we'll add our shiitake mushrooms. I love shiitake mushrooms. I've just sliced them roughly. And we can add the leaves now because they don't take much time at all to steam. And you don't want to overcook it either because once we do add the broth to this in the bowl, it'll continue cooking. So our little wontons can go back on the top. So now I'll steam again for eight minutes. We'll set our timer again. And on Varoma, on speed one. Done. The moment of truth, it's finally ready so we can start plating up. We'll be really careful with the steam and look at those dumplings. How fantastic do they look? They're perfectly cooked. You can see that they've shriveled a little bit. That's a good indication that the wonton wrapper is cooked and the meat inside is too. So we'll just drain that off a little bit. We'll place our wontons onto our lid here and we've got our steamed veggies cooked to perfection. So I'm going to layer this. We'll add a little bit of our shredded chicken to a bowl, just a little bit of it. The leaves of our bok choy, some of those mushies and the baby corn. 
and the stems. There's so much flavour in their stems. I find them quite sweet, so I'm going to add a few of those to the bowl. And our lovely dumplings. I love dumplings a lot, so I like to add a few of them. Be generous. This is not an entree style soup. This is a main soup. And if it's cold outside, you do want quite a lot of it. So I'm going to add five. And then our wonderful broth. It's got a beautiful colour to it. We'll just take it off the thermomix. And then we just pour it in. Fill it up with that gorgeous golden broth. And we'll place that back on our thermomix. And it's not finished yet. I've got some bean sprouts here for some extra crunch and that coriander. That looks like a restaurant quality dish made at home. And I love the addition of some wedges of lime on the plate there. I'm not gonna wait, I'm gonna have a taste. And don't forget, you can add some chili. If you're making these for the kids, they might not like the chili, but add a little bit to the side. Oh, there's nothing better, especially on a cold winter's day. This is my chicken wonton soup made with love in my Thermomix. For my recipe plus thousands more, go to recipecommunity.com.au. Thanks for watching.